What's up, y'all? It's Aunt Glizzy and it's Bob Sun TV. And today we got Diddy and Cassie's story. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel, y'all. I'm on the way to 100K subscribers. The subscribers going up faster. My page moving. I appreciate y'all. To all the new fans that don't know, I welcome y'all. To all the people that been here since day one, we ain't doing nothing but get bigger and back, bigger and better, y'all. Make sure y'all just support. Just like, subscribe, share, comment. That's it. I don't need nothing else from y'all, but. So some breaking news just came out, like Cassie Diddy, old girlfriend, they was in a relationship together. She seen, she signed the bad boy too. She was under his record label. She was, he was one of his artists too. She was one of his artists too. They used to date way back in the day. This was way before Carisha, Carisha what's her name? Yeah, Carisha, uh, Young Miami. This was way before these days. So while they involved in this story though, y'all, y'all know back in the day, I got a lot of stories. I used to be places with Shaq Lizzie, like on tour with Yo Gotti. I used to be around Young Thug. I used to be around Wale. Uh, being around Wale led us to Puff Daddy one day. We was over Diddy House in the Miami. We was in Diddy House in Miami back in the day. We was just in Miami with Wale. I was with Shaq Lizzie. I was a tag along, y'all. I was. I had nothing to do with none of this. Just never move. I'm just a tag along. I hold the book bags and make sure we get through the door safe and get out the door safe. That's just my job. I ain't even got no money for food. I'm literally eating out of your pocket. Shaq, McDonald's, burgers, fries. Get your man. I'm hungry. How can I protect you on an empty stomach? That's how serious it was. But all jokes aside, so... I, I usually end up places like we'll go to the club. I might go to the club with Shy Shy, meet up with John Wall and Wale, but I'm Shy Security, so I end up being they security too, so I'm moving. So I end up in spots back in the day. Like, I just end up around very important people, but I ain't starstruck or nothing. I don't tell these stories. I'm telling them now for YouTube, for my YouTube channel, but I ain't tell these stories. Like, nobody gonna believe them anyway. Like, these stories, nobody gonna believe these stories. So let's get into it. One day, I don't know what it was, but we got invited to Pub Daddy House. I was with Shy back in the day. We went to Pub Daddy House, Diddy House. It was like some some change. All right, long story short, he ain't touched change in a long time. He touched the change, and he went off about touching the change, like about touching some change. His hand touched change. He went in the bag full of some money. He touched some change. It was some weird, like, y'all, yeah, that's a whole other story. That ain't got nothing to do with this, but that was like the first weird thing I ever seen of a celebrity. So I'm like, forget it. Long story short, so we were Wale one day. We chilling. We were Wale in the studio, me, Shy, and Wale, and all the people that be with Wale, whoever Wale Lord engineers and stuff is. So we in the studio, and this girl in the studio, and she's singing, but the girl is Cassie at the time. I don't really know what's going on. I just know she's a big singer. I'm I'm not a musician. I'm not a music guy at this time. I'm not in the music. I'm just there with Sha. Literally make sure Sha. All right. I know like the popping people, like they popping at the time, but I'm talking about like our culture. Like I know a Chief Keef or a Meek Mills. Like, you know what I'm saying? At that time, I ain't really into music. I barely know the Wale culture. I just know Wale because he be around. So we end up in the studio with Wale in the studio with, I think her name Cassie. Yeah, he in the studio with her. So while they been telling us like before before we even get before we even get to the studio with him and Cassie in the studio, while they was already telling us like, man, we better go to the studio with Cassie. Man, Diddy be acting crazy over her. Diddy don't want nobody working around her. So y'all make sure y'all don't look at her too wild or make her feel uncomfortable. Or if you see her security guys and her security guys with her, just prepping us on how crazy Diddy act over her. Like any guys that's around her in her vicinity, why Diddy not around, he kirks off, he goes off. So we not paying no attention. I'm a little kid, I ain't paying no attention. I'm just going, I'm just listening. He like, man, just be respectful, man, respect it. Cause Diddy, Diddy be kirking out like, we ain't even really supposed to be around each other, but I'm trying to get a record, something, something, something. So long story short, we end up in there. We in there, we chilling, it's like an alias little session. We make it through the session. We probably like an hour in the session, like an hour into the session, maybe two. Her and while they doing what they doing in the studio, but they helping each other. It's just professional, y'all. It ain't nothing like, they ain't doing nothing weird. They ain't, I don't feel no weird vibes. I don't see no flirting or nothing. It's really professional. They making good music. So I'm off not paying no attention. I been heard what he told me before we walk in here about Diddy be tripping, but I'm just thinking like Diddy be tripping. I ain't paying that no mind, y'all. Diddy be tripping while they talk. First of all, why are you even telling me about Diddy? I don't even like, I don't even know. I'm just thinking I'm lost. I swear to God, y'all. Diddy and his security guys walked through this room. I told y'all while they was in the room. Diddy already don't like that. But I don't know what's 
All right, Diddy and Wale had prior run-ins, and he told Wale to stay away from her. You this that like, you got like, you got to stay away from her. You can't work with her. You can't do nothing. So they was on some sneak creep, trying to hurry up, put it together, even though it was going. I don't know how they was gonna sneak it, put it together. So I don't really get the situation. But I don't know. I guess they weren't supposed to be there doing it in person together. They were supposed to send it or whatever. But they was trying to keep and do it in person together because they ain't thinking Diddy going to pop up in here. Like, Diddy probably somewhere living his natural born life. At least that's what they thought. I swear, y'all, Diddy got, like, little secret people that follow her places. Like, when she go in a little restaurant, like, his girlfriends, like, he keep eyes on to see who they cheating on. Like, he that crazy. It's, it's some obsessive Diddy. Like, it's a crazy. The world know about it, though. Like, the crazy parties. Diddy be crazy over them girls. Like, super duper stalking. Like, he be having private investigators following them. No names can't go around him. He can very control him. I swear to God. So, that's what the vibe is. So, Diddy walks in. Diddy walk in Wale and him in the bathroom. Wale, not bathroom. Wale and the girl in the booth, but they doing the music part. Me and Shaw over here. I don't know it's Diddy who walked in. I just see these big security guys and a nigga in black, like it's a black sweatsuit and a hat. I can't really see who it is, but I know it's another celebrity important person because this this room only important people walking in this room. This ain't even no type of room you can get in unless you're an important person. But he came in with aggression. They moving. But I seen security guys with him, so I knew it wasn't nothing for us. Like it was no like. It was no threat to us or me or Shy. It was like control because they had to get in. They had to go through all this so you know it was somebody. And then I looked. It was like a glance once he got a little bit past me. I'm like, damn, that's Diddy. I ain't say nothing. I looked at Shy. Shy looked at me. I was not about to run in there. First of all, time I, I was not, I'm here with Shy. I'm just not about to run in there and say Wale. And be like, Wale, Diddy, come like that. Was out of, I would have died. Like, that's out of my control. First of all, this is Daddy. I promise you. I don't mind. What gangsta I do in the street? This don't. First, this. Uncle Buck, this is off my list. This is off my radar right here. I can't do nothing with this. I'm going to still, I'm going to stand down. So, man, shout like, oh, shit. So, as they go in there, they go back there, but they shut the door. It's a blind, all right. It's a, once you, it's a studio part, the boot part. It's like a blind back there. Like, it's a pop part. They do orchestra back there. So, with a booth at, it's like an orchestra, like a church zone. You can open it and you can see in the studio where they record, or you can shut it. Like, the, like, don't you ever been to a graduation and the blind shut? You can shut the blinds and you can't even see back there. Diddy and them went back there and shut the blinds. All I heard was a rock, do, 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 but not punches, like shit, like moving around, tables and shit. But I'm like, oh, so me and Shy run to the blinds. We people through the blinds. I'm people through the blinds. Shy people through the blinds. I swear for God, it's a balcony in the studio, like an out balcony. You can see over the back. I swear to God, my grandmother, they got Wally over top of his feet. They got him off his feet, hanging off the balcony. Like, he hanging off the balcony. They dangling by his feet. I can't really hear what they saying. I'm like, Shy, man, be quiet. Shy, 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 I don't know what's going on. Shy, first of all, Shy can go back and help Wally. This is man. He can go back to Shy and he must uh, move. I swear to God. Shy, like, Man, what they doing? I said, man, they got him over the pound by his feet. They're like, man, no, nah, no, he don't. That ain't him. I show that is him. We knew it was him because we know what type of shoes Wale wore to the studio. And we seen them jump up in the air. So who put on Wale's shoes? Nobody. That was Wale's feet over there. So boom. So I'm like, man, what the hell is going on? But Wale had already hipped us to this. That Diddy is crazy about this Cassie girl. And nobody could be around her. Just that and the third. I don't know if she got a restraint. She, I don't know if this her second restraining order on Diddy or did Wale get a restraining order. Somebody got a restraining order or a temporary restraining order that day. Like, I think she might have got a temporary restraining order from Diddy that day. I don't really know, but long story short, after that happened, Diddy and them stormed out. She left with them. Everybody left. They left with them. Only person back there now is Wale, but everybody in there went to go see was Wale. All right, me and Sha never went back there. Sha goofed left out the studio, figure went to the bathroom and act like he was never in the studio to see what happened or nothing. So when he came in, it was all new to him. I said, right there. I stayed it all. I was ready to be it. Oh, my mother, y'all, he come back to the junk. I can't do that because I got the mic. Little junk tilted, little junk jacked up. He sweaty as Y'all, I'm talking about sweaty as talking about No, nah, man. It just be a misunderstanding. I don't know why they take me for the bad person. I didn't mean like I'm just trying to make some great music. And I know I'm just trying to further myself in my career. He's in a bigger place. He just got to understand. No, nah, Unk, it ain't like that. Like, I was thinking, like, mm, just had that boy on the bone. So, boom, let it go. Shout walk back in. Like, man, what, what happened, man? Something, 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 something. He like, man, you wasn't in. He like, no, nah, man, what happened, man? Uh, man, like, man, no, nah, I'm going to tell you about that. We riding in the car while they discussing what happened to Shout. While they does not know we was looking through this blind, he just act like he like man, no, they ain't do nothing. They just came in actually aggressive talking. I'm like, 
They just try to jack, like try to get close to me, fake try to bully me. But they ain't do nothing. Like I'm like, what you mean? They, like, he didn't tell us they hung us off the balcony. We watch him get hung off the balcony by his feet, y'all. He was dangling. We seen them SBs in the air like that. So now he capping, man. That's me and Shadow a secret, y'all. We never told nobody. But now I told this story because if I'd have told it without these headlines, nobody would believe me. Cassie had just put a restraining order out on Diddy after all these years. Like she got a restraining order or something like that, and it's in the blogs, and now it's about to come out, and if they go to court about it, they're going to read all the court documents, and I promise you, she's going to say, one time in the studio, he came in there, and he put Wale over the balcony because he was so insecure about what we had going on. <laughs> I'm the realest that ever did this, man. I'm telling you, Wale's real name is Ralph, and Ralph, your feet was in the air. You was hanging like Ralph with the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. You was, Ralphie! Bob's like, 